friends, did you know that thanks to the VS Code extension and the GitHub Copilot extension for MongoDB, you can actually generate model classes in C Sharp based on your documents really easily? Let's take a look. So the first thing we need to make sure is that we have the MongoDB extension for VS Code installed. If you have that, you'll then be able to connect to your cluster. For example, I'm connected to this one here that has lots of databases in it already. So now we've got Copilot chat open and we can actually ask it to generate those documents for us. So we can add MongoDB because we have the extension installed. Because the VS Code extension is installed, it automatically gives us availability in Copilot to that extension. So we can add MongoDB and we can even do something like that slash query. There's also so slash docs or this slash schema as well, but we're going to use slash query. So we're going to say generate a C sharp model class for a restaurant based on the restaurants collection in sample underscore restaurants. Now, if you don't specify a database or a collection name here, it's actually smart enough to ask for you, but it's going to go ahead and think about it. So it's fetching the documents and just like that, it's gone ahead and created a model class based on those fields available to us in our document. So already improving your developer productivity by infinite X, amazing. And you can even say add BSON element attributes to match the casing of the fields in the document. So it's going to go ahead and think about it. And it's going to say, okay, which query would you like to run it against? So we can now go through and it will ask you what data you want to use. And um, that pop up there, obviously it was just off screen, but it was just listing the databases available. So we specified sample restaurants and then it's gone, oh, okay, well, these are the collections you've got available. Which one do you mean? So we're going to say restaurants. And then just like that, it's created the same thing again, but this time it's handled the casing for us and seen that the fields in our documents all lowercase. Obviously, the naming convention in C Sharp is to capitalize your property names. So just like that, yet again, by asking it for the right things, we've been able to save ourselves loads of time generating our model classes from our documents. Amazing.